hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and staying safe and happy and all the rest of it um today i just thought i would film a quick video all about baby names that i love um i'm only going to talk about girls names today because obviously we're having a baby girl so those are the only ones i like really looked into um i've got a list of like 15 names don't want to make this super long or anything like that i will just run through the names i like and some of the meanings and hopefully it will help you um we won't be using any of these names because yeah i don't know we've kind of got two names that we really like um so yeah we're just gonna stick to them but grab a cup of coffee and some biscuits or whatever and I hope you enjoy the video. So first up on my list is the name Penelope. Now we had this in our top three for ages. Basically we were going to pick Penelope because it sounds really nice with Elliot's surname which is Patrick. So Penelope Patrick. Um, and the only reason we didn't go with it or, or are not going with it is because it's quite popular at the moment. And I don't want her to be like the fifth Penelope in her class. Um, but yeah, it's a Greek name and it means weaver. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but yeah, it's a pretty name. So then next we have the name Beatrice or Beatrix. I actually prefer Beatrix because it's a little bit different. Um, but Beatrice is also a beautiful name. Um, and Beatrix means, is a Latin name, which means blessed or traveller or voyager. Um, something like that basically. Um, we didn't go with this name because Elliot doesn't like it, but I do. So then the next name is Evelina. Um, I think this name's really pretty and just a very like elegant name, but yeah, Elliot doesn't like it either, so I have to just suck it up and let that one go. But Evelina Patrick would be really cute as well. Um, it means, it's a French name and apparently it means hazelnut, but yeah I'm not sure about that one if you can't guess already I don't like two common names um so the next name is Phoenix I also love this as a boy's name and yeah Phoenix Patrick sounds quite cute but I just don't know we're not 100% sure on that name um it's kind of a little bit out there for a girl or a boy I think but yeah it's a pretty cool name I feel like you have to be quite a cool kid to pull off that name um but yeah, it's a Greek name and it means dark red or like crimson. So then the next name I really liked was Talia or Thalia. Um, the only reason we didn't go with this one is because a girl I nanny for, she has a Thalia in her class and no one ever gets her name right. So I just thought, yeah, that, maybe that is a little bit mean. And yeah, it's a Greek name, which means to flourish or bloom, which is a really pretty meaning. So I've loved this name for absolutely ages. It's Ottilie, um, but a couple of years ago, there was like a massive boom in the name. So I'm not as keen, keen on it now. And also the nickname for it is Tilly and the people I nanny for just got a cat and called it Tilly. So yeah, I've kind of been put off that name a little bit because this just makes me think of a cat. Um, so it doesn't work for us, but it might work for you. It's a German name, which means wealth or fortune. So this name has been on my list for absolute years. Um, you know how you make a list on your phone as a girl? Yeah, I've had it on there for ages. It's Aurelia. So if you watch Love Actually, the girl in, one of the girls in that is called Aurelia. And I just really love the name. It means golden and it is a Roman slash Latin name. Um... But yeah, I think it's beautiful. The only reason we haven't picked it is because Elliot, um, for some reason he thinks it sounds like when his name gets shouted, like Elliot, it sounds too close to Aurelia. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, he's a bit of a weirdo. But that's why I haven't picked that one. Um, next one is Isadora. Now, the reason I love this name is actually one of my best friend's middle names. One of my best friend's one of her middle names. God, that was hard to say. She's got like five middle names, Cheska. Um, so yeah, I really like that name. And I really like kind of like Dory for short or something like that. Um, but Elliot wasn't so keen. Um, it's a Greek name and it means gift of Isis, which is quite sweet because my little, one of my little nieces is called Isis. Um, and yeah, it's quite cute. I didn't know that until I looked it up. So number nine is Romilly. I love Romy or Romy for short. 
Um, but yeah, again, Elliot wasn't very clean on it, so um, we haven't gone with that. And yeah, it's a French place name, so French orange origin, origin, and so number ten is Inca. I really like this name, but it is quite kind of out there. Um, a couple of these are just pretty names, but I don't think I'm cool enough to have a little girl called Inca. Um, but yeah, it's a Polish name and it means heavenly. <laughs> Next we have Leilani. So the reason I picked this and it's been on my list for so long is basically because my mum is Fijian. So I thought it would be really nice to have a name that kind of goes back to those roots. Um, I do really like the name and I think it's really beautiful but I know what it's like to have quite a interesting name like Aisha. A lot of people commonly ask me where I'm from and stuff like that which is absolutely fine but if I were to produce a baby that looks quite English which is probably quite common a name like Leilani might not really suit her that much um, and yeah which is fine but I don't know, she, she, people just ask a lot of questions, don't they? So I think maybe it wouldn't be right for us, but I do think it's a really beautiful name and it would be really nice as I think if I were gonna use it in the future, I think it would be like a middle name, just so that something would go back to those roots. But yeah, it's a Hawaiian Polynesian name that is basically, it means royal or heaven. So number 12 is Alba. Now I really like this name and I think it's quite cool but again it is a little bit edgy like Inca. Don't think I'm cool enough for it. It was actually on my sister's her baby name list I think. Um, so I've liked the name for a while. I have stolen it from her but I don't think I'm going to use it just because it is a bit cool and a bit quirky. Um, but yeah it's Latin and it quite simply means white apparently. Um, so yeah and number 13 is Annabella now I like Arabella and I like Annabelle so then to combine the two as Annabella I thought was quite cute the only thing that's put me off is a lot of people have sort of rude nicknames for anything that ends in Belle or Bella as you can imagine yeah um, so I think I just avoid things like that but it's a Hebrew name which means God favours or God favoured me. Um, so yeah. Next up we have Leonora, which is a Latin name, which means ray of light. Now I had a friend, Jasmine, who said that if she was gonna have a baby, she was gonna call it Leone, um, but Leonora, she prefers that and it's much prettier and I agree. I think. Um, I do like this name but Elliot wasn't keen again so you know I have to kind of compromise a little bit. And then lastly number 15 I have Darcy which is an English slash Irish name um, which apparently is a Norman surname for Arcee or something which isn't great. Um, the reason I like this name is because I knew a Darcy at school and she was like the cutest sweetest little thing and I just think people who are called Darcy just I think it sounds like quite a like kind name like a kind person called Darcy you know um so yeah just a sweet little name but I don't think it's right for us either so that's the only reason I haven't picked that one yeah guys I hope that's helped you if you are planning on having a baby girl or stuck on names or whatever like that uh, whatever anything like that um yeah i think they're quite beautiful names and quite pretty names and i hope you guys get some use out of them because i'm not going to i don't think you never know i might have a cool baby that gets to be called inca in the future but right now i don't feel cool enough so yeah um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it's helped please give a big thumbs up if you do and subscribe if you are new or haven't subscribed yet and hopefully next time you see me i'll have a baby um but she seems to be taking her sweet time so i will see you all soon love you bye